Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Do you struggle with your children when it's time to turn off the screens? Well, licensed pastoral counselor Dr. James Stillwell is here to discuss an informative way of how to transition the kids from the television and computer and games back to reality. Right. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Okay. So this is such a real topic. It is, it is. I'm thing. telling you, why are kids so obsessed with these electronics? That's my very first question uh, right yeah. out of the gate. <laughs> let, let, let us know. Well, you know, you could ask the same question of the adults. That's true. <laughs> you know, that is true. It's okay. an extension of our bodies, and so we don't even think about it. We do it, and they model after us. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and and we, we push it on them to a certain extent sometimes because we use it as a babysitter. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know? And so it's that. really mm -hmm. not fair to them um, to call them back into this world too quickly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're saying that there's there we definitely need a type of transition to get them away from these devices. A transition then. time. What typically happens for all of us, and I'm not saying we're bad people for doing this, we just don't know, mm -hmm. is we say, okay, five more minutes, and we think we're giving them information. They don't hear us. When we right. say five, they're right. in another world. They literally cannot hear us. Uh, the dopamine is kicking off in the brain, giving them pleasure and protecting them from pain. And so um, when it comes time and our five minutes is up, they're not ready. Yeah. Right. And so we jerk them away out of their world and no wonder they scream. They are in physical pain. <laughs> because this, this world of pleasure that they're in is being ripped away from them. This is literally happening right. in the brain. Because mm -hmm. you, you brought up the dopamine and everything, right. and so there's real chemical reactions that is, it's pulling them in. Yes, um, when um, imagine how you feel when a football game or a basketball game right. or your favorite movie or even a video game that you're playing, the electricity goes off at the most strategic moment. <laughs> how right. do you feel? You lose signal. Right. You're like, wait, wait. <laughs> We go crazy yes. when that happens. Things start so flying. Imagine things fly. a child who doesn't even understand any of this. Yeah. Uh, the same thing's happening to them. I remember seeing some college students get pretty crazy if like their Xbox went off when I was in school and people do get kind yeah. of, so I see that. What do you think we can do to really encourage them to step away from these, you know, from their phone or from a video game? Well, I think what I want to emphasize is you want to help your child transition out of the virtual world mm -hmm. into the real world. So what I say for that is, first of all, you join them. Right. You sit with your child and give it 30 to 60 seconds. Ask questions about what's on the screen. What you're doing is you are, they are allowing you into that world because mm -hmm. you're being there with them. That feels good to them. Um, ask questions about the characters on the screen. Um, what they see, where they, what level they're right. on, mm -hmm. whatever. Actually interact. You're interacting <laughs> with your what? child. Actually talk to your kid. <laughs> you're bonding with your child. You're easing them out of that world into this world. Yeah. And, and many times they'll be so, literally so glad that you're interacting with them. Right. And connecting with them on their game that they'll be ready to turn it off themselves to join you in mm. your world. I like that. I <laughs> That's do. amazing. I mean, I'm listening to this and I, I laugh, but I'm seriously having issues with this with my kids. So this is really helpful because generally what you do as a parent, yeah. you're just like, got five minutes, you know, right. and then boom, and they you can't yank them off. even hear that. Yeah, that's really interesting. Now, how can parents model good behavior? Okay, this? well, here again, uh, we can't expect our children to do something we're not willing to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And that's if they so see true. us all the time at the table when we should be interacting face to face with our device, right. our phone, or mm -hmm. our iPad, or television, yep. or whatever, if we think our screen time is more important than anything in the world, we'll have zero credibility helping them with their screen time. Oh so you're gosh. saying, do as I do, as I do right. not just do as I say. Absolutely. <laughs> so important. If you want to be effective. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. We're all like, we're like, mm. I'm starting to sweat on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you thought about giving up your device. I know, exactly. Right. I know. Well, it's very good information. And we have your information also up on the screen. For anyone who would need to come in and, and have some counseling with you, um, you're always wonderful to have on the show. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here you're again. Very welcome. And we have more Midday Kentucky coming up right after the break. Keep it right here.